Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. It has been an incredibly long time since I've done one of these videos. For those of you that uh, don't really know, in fact, a lot of you probably aren't aware that I started a series called Must Have Tech quite a while ago. Where basically, I take a look at a bunch of tech that you can get from one company. And in this video, this is tech that you can grab from the company called Carved. Uh, I'll leave a link for their website down below in the description. Also, shout out to them for sending this stuff out to review. But I've had this stuff for a long time, and uh, yeah, it's about time that I've taken a look at it and I actually really do enjoy it which is why I'm really confused as to why I haven't made this video yet but we are finally making this video I have been talking for way too long so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the awesome stuff you can get from carved but before I do that I just wanted to quickly take a look at this little booklet here uh, that came with my order uh, and basically it just tells you what they're all about and I really liked this carved was founded on a deep desire to define something new to create a place where natural materials intersect modern technology so basically they're looking to mix the two and that's what we've got here all right so I'm not exactly sure where I want to start with this one I guess I'll go ahead and start off with these right here these are some cases here and so yes these are actually all carved out of pieces of wood and they are designed very very nicely they each have their own unique design so I guess I'll go ahead and start off with this one here this one is for the iPhone 7 plus uh, you can of course get them for the iPhone 7 um, you can get them for the s8 s8 plus pixel pixel XL now this one here is part of their slim series I believe it's more minimalistic uh, phone case design and of course you have that carved wood on the back with that really nice design I believe this one is called the Penrose triangle uh, and it looks really nice it's very sturdy tough hard plastic right there so let's go ahead and stick the iPhone in there all right there we go here it is on the red iPhone it looks really really nice I love this design in particular of course this looks really sick as well and if you smell it yep that's <laughs> that's wood. it smells excellent it smells awesome um, in terms of grip it's actually not that bad again it is really tough high quality plastic but it doesn't feel cheap at all it actually feels really nice in the hand so this is the slim one it doesn't cover the bottom it's very minimal protection um, but yeah it just it just looks awesome I love this one so if you really want to show off the color of your phone along with the cool wood design on the back then I definitely check this one out this one goes for about $30 in my opinion it's worth it all right so we do have another case for the iPhone 7 plus and uh, this one is a bit more of like a rugged style case it's gonna protect pretty much the whole outside of the phone and uh, if you guys can guess which skyline this is then you are awesome go ahead guess all right so for those of you that said it was the Chicago skyline you would be hundred percent correct I had to go with this one I believe they have the New York skyline as well but of course you guys know me I have to go with the Chicago one uh, in case you didn't already know Chicago Bulls and yeah I think this one yeah Chicago Bulls as well so <laughs> there you go there's the Chicago skyline there's the carved wood design looks really really nice alright so there we go the phone is protected all around the sides here and on each side on the left and on the right um, they do have these ridges here which is really nice for that added grip it really does feel nice uh, so that's cool and then of course you, you can't you cannot ignore this awesome design so there you go with that in terms of drop protection this will definitely help uh, much better than the previous case in fact I would recommend this one over the other one uh, because this one does I mean they do cost the same they both cost about $30 but I would definitely go with this one it looks awesome and of course you can get this awesome skyline of Chicago I really like this case a lot and uh, yeah I can see myself rocking this one if I used an iPhone as my daily driver <laughs> alright so next up we have this one here for the Galaxy S8 Plus again you can get cases for the regular S8 as well in this case in particular I featured in a previous video I did showing off my favorite cases for the Galaxy S8 uh, that I did a few months ago and yes it still is one of my favorite cases I literally just put it back in the box uh, to just keep everything in order but yes I really do like this case this one I think is called the Isle of Ice um, and it looks really cool I like the look that it gives off it's very clean and minimalistic I love it though um, it does have ridges on the side here for grip which is definitely helpful for such a tall phone but yeah it looks really nice again uh, protection all around not the best for drop protection but uh, it'll protect against bumps and scratches and dings and stuff like that um, it is definitely really a nice case now this one is a little more expensive coming in at $40 uh, but yeah you're paying a premium price for that natural wood and man I love the smell the smell pretty much never fades away it's really awesome so definitely check this one out they have tons of designs for each of these cases but yes I'm definitely a huge fan of this one in particular I don't know it's just something about it alright so the last case on hand is for the Google Pixel XL now I have a lot of cases for the Google Pixel XL but this is also one of my favorites here um, it's pretty much the same concept as the uh, S8 Plus case where it's got these ridges on the side for the grip and all that which is pretty cool 
and then let's go ahead and put the pixel in here. I got this one specifically because I have a white pixel XL and I just like the contrast with the black and white on either side. It looks really nice. This one is the Mount Everest case and it's really nice. I love it. I can't say enough about it. This one does come in at $29, so $30, you know, and of course it does have the uh, outer protection on all sides and of course it does have the lip so if you place it face down it'll be just fine but I do like the added grip and the look of it I just can't get over it I really just can't get over it and the smell oh, smells really nice so <laughs> there you go there's the Mount Everest case and yeah definitely check these ones out so that's pretty much it for cases let's go ahead and move on to the next category which is actually I only have one of these but this is a Bluetooth speaker. All right, so this little guy right here is called the Acoustic Acorn, and that's pretty much the perfect name for this guy. And uh, this is the Walnut variety. They have another version as well. I believe it's Bamboo. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it is a tiny little Bluetooth speaker, but it's pretty weighty. Of course, it's completely made out of wood here, uh, which is really nice, not only because of the looks. It looks really nice. It blends nicely with my desk, but it also will give you very natural sounding sound. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and connect it to my phone, and we'll do a quick sound test. All right, so I went ahead and I connected the speaker to my phone here. I've got a song pulled up and I'm gonna put the speaker right in front of my microphone so that you guys can hear it better. Let's go ahead and do a quick sound test. Alright, so let me know what you guys think of that little sound test there. Of course, that's not going to do it justice because it is, uh, you know, using a microphone here and you're just listening to it probably on your phone speaker. So it's not going to be the best, uh, but trust me, it is actually pretty solid. Again, it's not the best speaker out there. It is really tiny. Um, it, it is surprisingly not completely lacking in the bass category. I actually thought it would be. Uh, it's not the best sounding speaker out there. I'd be lying to you if I said that it is, but there's just something kind of special about having a speaker that's this small, this weighty, this high quality car out of a piece of wood for crying out loud and yeah it, it actually has a surprisingly long battery life I haven't had to charge this thing in a long time and uh, yeah it's got a rubber uh, grip on the bottom so that it doesn't go flying around your desk and it's only got one button for power and uh, for pairing but that's pretty much it this is a really nice little speaker it comes in at a whopping $65 but again it this one's mostly for the novelty because I mean really where are you gonna find a spe that speaker that looks quite like this one but uh, it's definitely something cool to check out um, there are tons of other speakers out there that you can get for less but uh, this is definitely something really cool to just take a look at and to kind of have just sitting on your desk it lo looks really really cool so there's the acoustic air cone <laughs> there's the acoustic acorn for you guys let's go ahead and move on to the last two products all right so last but not least we have some power banks yes they do power banks as well these I absolutely love them and uh, yeah, they come in their own little pouch, which is really nice, really handy. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. They come in different, of course, different varieties, different patterns and stuff. And they also come in different price points. Uh, this one here comes in at, I believe, $50. And yes, this one, man, this just looks so, so cool. I forgot the name of this one, but it is a 6,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's not really that large at all. Uh, so I think 6,000 milliamps is a good size. Um, it's got... Uh, full USB port right there, micro USB power LED indicator as well. Uh, 2.1 amps, uh, it's not slow, but it's not blazing fast either. It'll get the job done and charge your phone in a good amount of time. But yeah, 6,000 milliamps, and man, I'm telling you, where are you gonna find a power bank that looks quite like this one? I'll go ahead and do a quick size comparison with the Pixel XL there. So it's not too big, not too small. You can slide it right into your pocket, which is really nice. And it does come with a charging cable, whoops. <laughs> All right, so micro USB, and uh, actually, yes, it is a flat line cable, which is nice. I do like that. So yeah, it's not a completely boring cable, but you know, there's that. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the other design that I have here. I think it's just a regular black wood type thing here. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one's actually still in its 
bubble wrap. But this one is for like the complete minimalists out there. You can't get much more clean than that. This one is also 6,000 milliamps, but this one does come in at $35. Um, but yeah, this is so clean. Look at that. So yeah, you've got a whole bunch of different styles that you can choose from. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it from Carved, guys. Let me go ahead and see if I can put some more of these products in the shop for you guys. Get one last good look at them. Um, I really like these products. I would definitely recommend that you at least check their website out to see if you find anything uh, that would suit your taste. And I'm pretty sure you will because they just have so much stuff going on there. But yeah, so that does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, check out Carved down below in the description. They make some really awesome stuff. And as you can tell, they put a lot of time and effort into the stuff that they make. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.